Yeah. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Terrence Curtis, and today I will be present. I will be demonstrating to you how to make a margarita shot. I was gonna do a margarita cup, but in the interest of time and having to drink it afterwards, the shot is in the best interest. First, I will show you the materials needed to create the margarita shot. Then I will demonstrate the process of getting it all together and making it happy, happy. Finally, I will show you how to serve it and enjoy it. Um, I'm gonna start you guys off with a little fun fact that according to the Huffington Post that in the at the University of New Mexico, scientists found a way to make diamonds with tequila. Artificial diamonds, like small little baby diamonds that you can use like put in like machines that need that type of um, diamond. So I found that crazy interesting. So first, I'm gonna show you guys the materials. Salt, for the salted rim, gotta have it. Um, this is simple syrup. Two shot glasses. Yes, ma'am. Um, a bottle of your silver tequila, not gold, because gold has sweeteners in it and it's aged in barrels. So you don't wanna add more sugar on top of the sugar that you already have. Um, I'm cheating a little bit. Watermelon margarita mix. Why not? <laughs> and your shakers. You could use a strainer if you like put other stuff in it, but you could also do that and it saves time. All right. Now that I've showed you the materials needed to create the perfect margarita shot, I will show you the process of putting it all together. First, I'm going to take the salt bag with my non dominant hand and open up the Ziploc bag. Gonna pour the salt onto the plate. This is for later, this is not for now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next, I'm going to set that aside. The beauty about margaritas is that, um, depending on, according to bartender.com, everybody has their own specific way, so they do it in parts. A part could be whatever you want. One part could be one shot or one gallon. So it can be equal parts, this to that, as long as it, as it depends on how much you decide to make. So for two shots, I'm gonna do two parts tequila, two parts margarita mix, why not? Um, the formula that they say to use for a classic margarita is three to two to one, that's what you wanna remember, according to delish.com. Um, it's three parts tequila, two parts triple sec, and one part lime juice. So again, if you wanna do more than that, you would, your parts would be not shots, you could do Three, part, three gallons of tequila, two gallons, it's all depending on how much the quantity that you're making. So now, we're gonna do two and two, why not? The cup has little lines on it too, by the way, so I'm not just making this up. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. According to thekitchen.com, National Margarita Day is February 22nd. That passed, unfortunately. And then National Tequila Day is July 24th, so you guys still have time <laughs> to get your tequila fix on. So we're gonna do two parts tequila, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna show you guys some cool, well, oh yeah, now I'm gonna add a part, not too much, because this is, it's supposed to be triple sec, and triple sec is orange liqueur. So we're not going to use that. We're just going to use a little bit of simple syrup, just a splash. Simple syrup is just sugar water. And I'm going to also use this to salt the rim of the shot glasses. Next, please God. With your dominant hand, you grab your cup and pour it into your shaker. This is a very cr critical part because if you don't do this correct, you're going to get li liquid all over you. So you want to make sure that's in there nice and tight. Now, with your non-dominant hand on the shaker and your dominant hand on top of the cup, you shake and hope it doesn't go everywhere. <laughs> shake it up. <laughs> shake it up. <laughs> Keep shaking. <laughs> the process of shaking is allowing air to get in the drink. That's why you don't stir a margarita as opposed to like a mojito or something, because that has soda, on it, well, soda water in it. So when you stir that, you don't want to get rid of the bubbles. You shake it to create air. We're not using soda, but it's, it's to create air. And that 
according to thekitchen.com again, that creates more flavor in the drinks. Now that I've showed you the process, I'm going to show you how to serve it. You're going to dip your shot glasses in the sugar water, then the salt. Coarse salt. That's a lot of salt. <laughs> Coarse salt. <laughs> dip. Shake. Dunk. I was going to do Sour Patch Garnish, but no, nah, in the interest of time again. So now, for the finale. I will, since I demonstrated the process, I will now demonstrate the service. You have your liquid inside, side of your wrist, dominant hand, tap it. Uh, there we go, comes loose. Now, in the steadiest of ways possible, with my shaky, nervous hands, <laughs> In conclusion, first I showed you guys the materials needed to make a margarita shot, then I showed you the process of shaking it up, then I showed you the final product. Um, enjoy your margaritas, guys. <laughs>